Hey guys, uh, Jonathan Daigles again here with an uh, update on the F-250 I was telling you guys about. Um, like I told you before, I wasn't, sorry that's upside down, wasn't going to do it like a normal pickup truck, another custom thing, so uh hope you guys like it. This is just progress, still a little work to be done, so here we go. Here it is so far. Got uh, the engine has not been put in it yet, as you can see. What I love about this truck is it's got hinges built on. So at the front, we got a uh, you know, classic Ford lights. We got the t sorry, turn signals and whatnot, and uh, I put a little Ford emblem on there. And then along the side, we got our international semi truck wheels. Along the side. I'm not going to put the usual ones, I'm going to try to find, I haven't found good ones yet, but I'm going to try to find some good trailer mirrors. And then we got a little sticker on here, hookers headers. Sorry, my camera's not really doing too well today. And in the interior, just uh, white, black, and orange. You know, I, I always do, I turn the steering wheel, it just makes it look a little different. And in the back... If you can really see, there's a bunch of smudges on the seat because when I thought I wasn't going to complete this truck, I took all the subs and stuff out, and I didn't think about putting them back in when I built this, so really no turning back now. Let's go around to the back. We got the exhaust tip out showing you, very nice looking exhaust tip. Got a uh, two gas tanks here. We got a fire extinguisher. And back here we have a try just a POW sticker. And this is also off the international truck or got the whole trailer hookup. These are, if you didn't notice, they're dual wheels. Very nice. I love those. And along this side, pretty basic on this side, no sticker or anything. This right here, this is the only run I had on the whole truck when I painted it. I'm going to redo that. Uh, not redo it. Uh, just get a Q-tip with some paint thinner on and just get that off. Because this, believe it or not, this is the, the base color that it was molded in. And it looks really nice, so I'm not going to change that at all. I don't know why. I always, whenever I see this truck when I'm working on it, I always think of dreamsicles. I don't know. It sounds weird, but whatever. So that's not too in depth or not too uh, detailed right now. The engine, there's nothing in there. But uh, it's a work in progress. The cab, this is the chassis to my F 150 that uh, was a snap tight model. So I took the chassis and this sits up because the, the tub for the interior is just too tall. And this raises up here so it doesn't fit in right. So I have it all glued on so it's not like it's going to come off or anything. And these wheels, they're... I just pushed it a little bit. I probably shouldn't have. But they're not going to be rolling functional wheels. At least I hope nobody will try to make them. And then this is the trailer that's going to go on it. This was a Kenworth trailer. It was a big refrigerated trailer. But, uh... I took the top off it and I took the third row wheels off because it just looked stupid and useless. And yeah, it's going to be a flatbed. I have uh, maybe one or two small cars up there. I can uh, hook it up onto here. I can show you guys real fast. It does click in and fit in right. Got all my measurements right. Pull this. Take the and then let me show you how this goes in here. There we go. Now it's in. It's in there. Pull it up. Doesn't come off. Uh it's a very long trailer actually. Could probably fit two of these on, on it, lengthwise. These are 
these were what the top screwed on to, but it's kind of good because uh, it stops the car from rolling off it and stuff. So yeah, that's the... I wanted to put a... I don't know how I'd do it, but somehow it's said so like a... Kind of like a made-up company, something repo or something like that on it. thought that'd be pretty cool. But yeah, that's the progress on the F-250 custom uh, trailer hauling truck. So yeah, uh, comment, like, subscribe, everything. See you guys. Uh, wait, like I said before, I gotta finish the Trans Am. Uh, here's the engine I showed you before that's gonna go on this truck. Uh, I had to cut part of the this off to get it to fit after I did all the modifications, but it's no biggie. I gotta put the rest of the tubes and stuff on the top once I get it in the truck itself. And then possible mirrors that I'm gonna put on it. These are actually, believe it or not, they're off a Hummer. Might put them on it. Don't know yet. Still gotta put the handles and the switches on the on the back here. Um. Oh, really hated not putting this on. Ah, shoot. This is the tail, tailgate. I thought it came out perfect. I really hate not being able to put it on. Like, I just want to, like, do it right on there. No, I'm joking. That'd be stupid. But, yeah. That's the truck. And... A little seeing in the future, I think what the next mod I'm going to get is going to be the Chevy van. I'm not sure what year. It's a 80-something, I think. And what I'm going to do with it is my brother has a Dremel, and I'm going to have him cut the top of it off from behind the seats to all the way to the back so he can take it off. I'm going to have a big, like, I'm going to have a couch in the back. I'm going to have a big sub set up. It's going to be real nice. But... That's if I can get out to the hobby store and stuff, but not much money coming in right now, so that'll be a while. I'm just going to keep up with the train. You know what? You guys have waited so long. I'm just going to show you the body to the Trans Am now. No, it's not put together. That's what the body looks like. I don't know if you guys have seen the body in other videos I've made. But yeah, there was a crack on the windshield where it was like the windshield I could take it apart, so I had to glue that back together. So that kind of looks kind of bad. And uh, the yellow looks bad on the camera. I don't know why. It looks really dull, but it's really like that sound weird or anything but vibrant looking. Like it's energizing when you look at it here. It's really nice. And then here's the back bumper. Custom exhaust. Uh, this, as well as this, the Trans Am, as well as this, are gonna both have hooker header, hookers, headers, stickers on it. I'm not sure where this one's gonna be. Uh, that's about all I can tell you right now. And yeah. Oh, and it's this back here under this window. It's gonna have subs and an amp and stuff. So yeah. That's about it for now. I'm not doing any engine work on the Trans Am because I'm not going to cut the, the hood off. So, yeah. Oh. Guess I can show you the wheels, too. Old Lamborghini Diablo wheels. Took them off, painted them black. Now they go on this, and now they're beautiful. Actually, I could leave this up on here until I'm finished with it, and it looks pretty cool. You guys can kind of see about how lengthy this trailer is. This is this the Trans Am is a pretty long model, so you see the whole Trans Am, and then you see all of that room going up, and then you could always have a little sag of the bumper or whatever over here. And then I'm gonna get a uh, either fishing wire or a normal string put over around the car and then tie it on the bottom. It'll look pretty realistic. 
Okay, so that's about all I can tell you right now. And, yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching the vid. See you guys later.